Hi guys, today I'm going to read a story called Grumpy Cat. But first I wanted to let you know that during the story I will be asking questions and I would like you guys to push pause so you can discuss it with your grown up before we continue on with the story. Grumpy Cat. Once there was a cat who lived all alone. He ate on his own, he slept on his own, he slept every day alone. He would sit between the trash cans and looked very, very grumpy. Why do you think he was so grumpy? At night, other cats in the neighborhood would meet and play together. Cat wanted to join in, but he just didn't know how. The other cats didn't ask him because they thought he was a grumpy cat. But really, he was a lonely cat. What do you say to your friends when you want to play with them? One night, everything changed. There was a terrible thunderstorm that crashed and shook the ground. Cat looked for shelter from the storm, but there wasn't any. Poor cat got wetter, colder, soggier, and even grumpier than before. Then, suddenly, out of nowhere, there came a meow. Cat looked down, and there, between his paws, was a little orange kitten. Kitten was as wet and as cold and as soggy as Cat. Meow, said Kitten. Cat didn't know what to do. The rain stopped. The kitten meowed again. She thought she had found a friend. But Cat just glared at Kitten and walked away. Kitten followed Cat. She rolled onto her back and showed her belly. She wiggled her tail under Cat's nose. She tried to catch Cat's tail. She just wanted to be friendly, but Cat still looked grumpy. Cat tried his best to lose Kitten by balancing on a high picket fence, but Kitten was right behind him. Cat thought he had finally, finally lost Kitten by climbing a tall tree, but then Cat heard a meow. Slowly and grumpily, Cat turned around. There at the foot of the tree was Kitten. Kitten followed Cat up the tree. She tried to reach him by balancing on the thinnest of the branches. Then Kitten slipped. Oh no, what do you think will happen next? Quick as a flash, Cat leaped over and took Kitten gently by the scruff of her neck and carried her down the tree to safety. Once they were on the ground, Cat licked Kitten to make sure she felt safe. Kitten meowed. She was happy and hungry. Cat dashed off, but soon returned with a surprise. A great big fresh fish as big as Kitten. Cat and Kitten ate until their bellies were full. Cat and Kitten cuddled up for a snooze. They had found, they had each found a friend, and Cat was never grumpy again. Well, almost never. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this story, and I hope you guys have a great day.